So we will continue with our lesson about divisibility rules. For well, today, we will discuss about divisibility rules for 4, 7, 8, 11, and 12 to find the common factors of numbers. When can we say that the number is divisible by 4? Divisibility rules state that a number is divisible by 4 if the last two digits form a number that is divisible by 4. Example, we have 2,372. The last two digits formed here is 72. Divided by 4, that's 18. And 18 is a whole number. Therefore, 2,372 is divisible by 4. Also, numbers ending in two zeros are divisible by 4. Example, we have 5,200. It ends with two zeros. And divided by 4, that is equal to 0. And 0 is a whole number. Therefore, 5,200 is divisible by 4. Another example, we have 1,213. So the last two digits, 4 is 13. Divided by 4, that's equal to 3 with a remainder of 1. That is not a whole number. Therefore, 1,213 is not divisible by 4. Next, when can we say that a number is divisible by 7? So we can determine that a number is divisible by 7 when we multiply the last digit by 5 and add e to the remaining number. If the sum is a multiple of 7, then that number is divisible by 7. Example, take the number 392. So the last digit here is 2. Multiply by 5, that's 10. Then add uh, to the remaining number, which is 39. So 39 plus 10 equals 49. And 49 is a multiple of 7. So 392 is also a multiple of 7. Or it is divisible by 7. Another example, we have 2,457. If we are going to solve it step by step, so we will start from 2,457. The last digit here is 7 times 5, that's 35, plus the remaining number, which is 245, that is equal to 280. From 280, the last digit is 0. 0 times 5, that's 0. Plus the remaining number, which is 28, equals 2, 28. Then from 28, the last digit is 8. 8 times 5, that's 40. Plus the remaining number, which is 2, equals 42. From 42, the last digit is 2. 2 times 5, that's 10, plus the remaining number, which is 4, which is equal to 14. From 14, the last digit is 4. 4 times 5, that's 20, plus 1, is equal to 21. From 21, the last digit is 1. 1 times 5, that's 5, plus 2, that's equal to 7. So 7 is divisible by 7, therefore we can say that 2,457 is also divisible by 7. So as you can see, if you keep going, you will always end up with either 7 or 49. If the original number is a multiple or divisible by multiple of 7 or divisible by 7.
when can we say that the number is divisible by 8? The visibility rule states that a number is divisible by 8 if the number formed by the last 3 digits is divisible by 8. Example, we have 81,720. So, as we can see, the last 3 digits form is 720. 720 divided by 8 equals 90. And 90 is a whole number. Therefore, we can say that 81,720 is divisible by 8. Also, a number ending in three zeros are divisible by 8. For example, we have 54,000. So as we can see, the last three digits form is zeros, three zeros. And if we divide that one by 8, that is equal to 0. And 0 is a whole number. Therefore, we can say that 54,000 is divisible by 8. Another number, we have 25,213. So the last three digits form 213. And 213 divided by 8 equals 26 with a remainder of 5, which is not a whole number. Therefore, you can say that 25,213 is not divisible by 8. How about 11? So when can we say that a number is divisible by 11? So a number is divisible by 11 if the difference between the sum of the digits at the odd and even places equals to 0 or a multiple of 11. So take the number for example 2585. So we have here for the odd places we have 5. When we say odd places we have the first digit and the third digit. So I color that one red for you to determine that they belong to the odd places. Starting from the right. So we have 5 plus 5. And we will also add the digits in the even places. So the second and the fourth. Which are 8 and 2. So our equation is 5 plus 5 subtracted by the sum of the even digits in the even places which is 2 plus 8 so 5 plus 5 equals 10 minus the sum of 2 and 8 which is also 10 is equal to 0 and uh, so and as the, the rule states if the difference is 0 that means that num the original number is divisible by 11. Therefore, 2,585 is divisible by 11. Another number, we have 968. So, for the digits in the odd places, we have from the first place, we have 8. And the in the third place, we have 9. So we have 9 plus 8 subtracted by the digit in the even place. In the even place, which is in the second place, it's 6. So 9 plus 8 is equal to 17 minus 6 equals 11. And 11 is, of course, a multiple or divisible by 11. Therefore, we can say that 968 is divisible by 11. Another number, we have 3,887. So, 
So the digits from the odd places we have seven, eight, and from the even places we have eight and three. So we have eight plus seven minus the sum of three and eight. So, 8 plus 7, that is equal to 15, minus sum of 3 and 8, which is 11, equals 4. And 4 is not a multiple of 11. Therefore, we can say that the original number, 3,887, is not divisible by 11. Next, for the last digit 12 when can we say that the number is divisible by 12 so a number is divisible by 12 if the sum of the digits of the number is divisible by 2 and 3 so for example we have 372 so we, we will add the uh, three digits so we have 3 plus 7 plus 2 that is equal to 12 and 12 is literally a multiple of 12 itself therefore 372 is divisible by 12 another example we have 2833 so we will add the digits 2 plus 8 plus 3 plus 3 equals 16 and 16 is not a multiple of 12 therefore it is therefore the original number 2833 is not divisible by 12